Hello and welcome to JustCompareCars.com. My name is James and today I'm going to be doing a walk around video of this 2020 on a 70 plate Peugeot Boxer. It's a 2.2 blue, blue HDI 140 Professional 335. It's an L2H2 and it's a Euro 6 vehicle. It's done just 42,000 miles and it's got full service history with one stamp in the book. Okay, so we've been doing these walk around videos for quite a while now and we find them to be very popular mainly because it means you get to view the vehicle from the safety and comfort of your own home, but as if you were here with me today in person. Let's walk around the vehicle with you today, we'll look at all the panels individually, looking for marks, scratches and dints, wheels and tyres, we'll look at the tread depths and under the arches, and we're going to have a look in the back, see how it's laid out. Then we're going to have a look in the cab, looking at the seats and the functionality, I'll even tell you what it smells like inside too. When we've done that, we're going to pop the bonnet and have a look at the engine bay, and finally, we'll have a look underneath at the underside of the engine, the chassis, and if there is one, a spare wheel. Now, once you've watched the video, if you're happy with what you see and you want to buy it, a small deposit will secure it, and we can pretty much deliver it anywhere in the world. If you're looking to finance it, we can go through an application with you, which takes about five minutes, and we can usually get you a decision within around an hour. Now, it's a plus VAT item, so you are going to need a deposit to cover the VAT. And no, I'm sorry, there's no way we can get around that. You'd be surprised how many people ask. It's also worth mentioning while you're watching the video, if you think I've missed something or if you'd like to see something in a little bit more detail, please just ask. There's nothing to hide from us. Oops, one second. There's nothing to hide from us and I'd rather make sure that while you're sat at home, you're comfortable with exactly what you're buying. Um, I'd like to think that we're quite very much different in regards to a lot of companies out there um, as we do this. I don't think anyone else does a video like this. Um, it's quite long, but look at it on the basis that this video is going to take you a damn sight less to watch than it usually would to come and look at it. So take the time and watch it, um, and I can assure you I don't miss anything out. Right, let's start with the bonnet and then we'll work our way around from there. Um, this one arrived um, a day or so ago. Um, it's been valeted. Um, I've just washed it myself and dried it off, so I've had a good look around it anyway. It's nice and clean. Um, there's a couple of little bits on it, but it's a white van, it's been used, it's been used on England roads, so you know there's going to be stone chips and stuff like that, but nice clean van really, to be fair. Um, so, yeah, panel, the bonnet is, as you can see, nice and straight, I can't see any dints or dings on it, it's really nice and clean in that sense. There are a couple of little bits on it, you know, where stones are popped up or whatever else. There's one there, there's one there, there's a couple of tiny ones there, there's a couple there as well. That's probably the worst one, if I'm honest. Um, obviously, you could touch those in if you're really bothered, or if you're going to put your livery over it, you could probably cover it. Um, driver's side headlight, nice and clean, no damage, misting or cracks. Front bumper's in nice, clean condition. As is the... Oh, one second, sorry, I'm going to have to... My balancing's off on me thing. So, one second, sorry. Right, we'll try again. Hopefully, that's a bit better. Um, yeah, so... Uh, front bumper and grille in nice clean condition, as is the passenger side headlight. Let me zoom that in a little bit, that's better. Uh, as you can see, it's nice and clean, no damage, misting or cracks. And the rest of the bumper's in nice clean condition as well. I'm going to have to move this again, I'm so sorry. Bear me one second. Promise it's not my first day. Right, so... Um, passenger side front wing is in nice clean condition and again there's no nasty marks or dents it's really nice and clean I can't see any stone chips or anything yet so it's all good oh, that's a lie there's a tiny stone chip there right so passenger side front wheel and tyre the wheel's in good condition it's a steel wheel it's like it's been painted but it's nice and tidy um, it's got an Avon tyre and Yes, there's about three or four millimetres of tread, so legal. And under the arch, as you can see, is nice and clean and tidy. And there's no damage or anything like that. Uh, passenger mirror back's nice and clean and tidy. There's no damage. Mirrors are intact. Uh, windscreen is free from stone chips and cracks. Over the pillars. So, well, let me just extend my camera a little bit. So, over the pillars. And there's no dings or dints. Let's have a quick look at the roof. And that looks nice and tidy as well. That's all good. There's a little tiny stone chip just there. 
and just above the windscreen as you can see is in nice clean condition as well right so the upper part of the side is a nice way to look at that first and you can see there's no damage or dents it's all nice and clean right so a decent view to take of the side is this one reason being you can see there's no misalignment of gaps and also there's no mismatch of paint so it's not been painted which is nice to see right so passenger side door is nice and clean i can't see any dints or marks everything looks all good so going down passenger side i always like to take this view the reason being is obviously you're looking down the panels you'll see any any imperfections or dents and hopefully you'll agree uh, there isn't any it's really nice and tidy actually to be fair yeah nothing it's all good a couple of little uh, little marks here i'll guess that there's been stickers on it or something someone's piggled them off but nothing serious um, side door easy to open one-handed as you can see locked into place no issues uh, in the back it's boarded out it's nice and tidy so can i stand in it yeah i'm six foot two i can stand in it easily and there's a bit of a gap above my head probably about three or four inches or so if you're looking for a small motorhome conversion that would be a good one yeah nice daddy it's got a couple of lights they work fine anymore no and then passenger side rear wheel and tire the wheels in good condition again it's been painted obviously it's got another avon tire um, it's like basically a brand new tire nine or ten millimeters of tread and under the arch as you can see is really nice and clean and tidy um rear bumper there's a little tiny graze just there it's a nothing really so um passenger side tail lights nice and clean no damage misting or cracks everything looks good <coughs> so we're good rear bumper we've got parking sensors someone's obviously not used them at some point <laughs> i think that's probably from loading or whatever but um yeah it's got parking sensors a bit of damage there obviously you can see i'm not sure where that'll be from but it is there can't do anything about it uh rear doors if we look down them there's a dent here that potentially might come out but it's on the swage line so it might still show and there's another one there so it's obviously where someone's opened it hasn't it well the wind's caught it or something but yeah, other than that, nice and clean and tidy. Let's open the rear doors. They do open and lock into place, no issues at all. It's got a decent size opening. The rear doors are in nice, clean condition. There are a few internal marks, but obviously this is the business end of the van. And it's done its job, hasn't it, at the end of the day? Um, there's a couple of little marks on the back. I think what it is, they've obviously, whatever they've been using in it, They've rolled it in and rolled it out, and obviously they've caught it with that, I would say. I can't imagine it's anything else. Uh, but yeah, van's nice and tiny, and the back smells nice as well. It doesn't smell like it's been carrying anything caustic or toxic, rather. Doors open and close easily. There's a couple of little dints there. Look on that bit there. Don't know how that's happened, but it's, they are there. Nothing's really, I suppose, at the back end of the, of the van. Right. Driver's side, tail light is in nice clean condition again, no damage, misting or cracks, everything looks all good. Uh, rear bumper looks all good, a bit of muck, sorry about that, that's me. Right, let me just extend this again, we'll have a look at the pillars on this side. And they look all good, I can't see any marks or dents. As well. And then the upper part and the driver's side again they're nice and tidy as well all right I'll lower that down so driver's side and again you can see there's no misalignment of gaps and there's no mismatch of color nice and tidy van to be fair really really clean let's have a good look down the side panels and again same principle as the other side really i'm just looking down the panels using my eye and also the camera just to see if there's any dents or dings 
I will hope you would agree, there isn't any at all. Really nice and clean and tidy. Yeah, it's superb. Obviously, when we've had this, has really looked after it, which is nice to see. Obviously, it's not done a great deal of miles. Right, so, uh, driver's side, rear wheel and tyre. Again, wheel's in good condition, obviously it's been painted. And it's got another Avon tyre, which is also brand new by the look of it. Um, nine or ten millimetres of tread. And under the arch, as you can see, is nice and clean and tidy. All the plastics on the side, by the way, were in really nice clean condition as well. Driver's side door. And again, I can't see anything that's obvious. Nice and clean and tidy, no dings or dints. Driver's side mirror back again, nice and clean. There's a little tiny graze mark, nothing serious. And the mirrors are intact. And then driver's side front wing is in nice clean condition. Just give it a wipe, it's a bit wet still. Make sure I'm not missing anything. Tiny stone chip just there. Well, that cause anything else at all. And then, oh, there is a little look at that. It's got a bit of road rash on there. I don't know if that's tar actually, that might come off. Oh. Not sure, I think it might be tar. And then driver's side, front wheel and tyre. Wheel's in good condition, obviously it's painted. Another Avon tyre, which is basically brand new. So it's got four decent Avon tyres, three virtually brand new ones and one that's part worn. Oh yeah, really tidy. Bonus. So, I mean, the exterior of the vehicle, I would hope that you would agree it's in really good condition. Obviously there's a few bits business end of the the vehicle obviously has caught it a bit but presentation wise it looks superb it really does once you've put your livery on it or whatever anyone would be proud of that nice clean van very clean right so we'll look inside put that in there uh Driver's side door card is in nice clean condition. There's no damage. I can't see any marks or lumps missing. Everything looks good. Electric windows, central locking, bottle holder. What more could we want? Um, so, inside, there's no mats, uh, but the floor is in nice clean condition. Obviously, I look here. If you've got any holes or anything, that's where your heel mark goes. But no, it's nice and tidy. Handbrake's obviously there. Driver's side seat, bolsters are very firm. The material's nice and clean. Apart from this, probably, that's probably from me when I've just got in with dirty jeans. But the seat actually is in really very good, clean condition. Um, it's got the armrest. Nice and firm, nice and clean. Um, look at the rear, nice and tidy. There's no damage or dirt. The roof lining looks nice and clean as well. Right, let me climb in. Uh, passenger seats. Bolsters feel like new. And as you can see, the material's very, very clean. Quite do see this lot in vans, obviously. Um, usually a single driver, and then obviously the passenger seats aren't used. But yeah, everything's nice and clean and tidy. In that way, box like this. Um, dashboard is nice and clean there's no lumps or chunks missing there's no one that's stuck anything silly onto the dashboard so it's not left any silly marks it looks nice and clean it smells nice and clean inside doesn't smell like it's been smoked in it doesn't smell like it's lived on a farm and they're the two that would bother me can't think of anything else it just smells clean you know like the the smell that you get from cleaning products i suppose um, and no matter what you do you're never going to mash the smell of cigarettes so don't smoke in your van. It ruins them. Anyway. Uh, this one's just got one key at the moment. Another one might turn up. It's obviously a dealership part exchange. They do arrive sometimes afterwards. I think you need to depress the clutch to start it. Preheat it, obviously. Give it a start. A twist and it starts straight away. Just turn that down. Uh, so... Rear door's open, never mind. Um, dashboard, no warning lights other than the, front. the door's open, it says. And my handbrake's on and I'm not wearing my seatbelt. Steering wheel's in nice, clean condition. There's no unusual wear. 
there's no lumps or chunks missing steering wheel controls it all feels nice and smart everything works as it should um it hasn't got a reversing camera i don't think but it's got obviously i don't know if you can hear that it's got a reversing uh, siren that's good um obviously we've got the media center so radio Sounds good, no distortion, all the speakers sound nice and clean and crisp. And we've got media, so obviously when you put your USB in, then uh, you can use that, you use your phone or whatever. You've got nav, on the map, everything works as it should. Nice clear screen, works good. Phone, obviously had a phone there. And then you've got the other bits like your compass, trip, clock, outside temperature, etc. Everything works spot on. Of course it won't lock because the door's open. It's this one. No, it's one of the other ones anyway. Everything works as it should. It's starting to snow, I hope not. Anyway, uh, yeah, again you can see inside, no stone chips or cracks on the windscreen. It's all nice and clean and clear. But yeah, all good. Um, I'm not sure what that's for. USB's down here usually, somewhere. It's in there, I think. Oh, say look, there. So you put your phone in there out of the way. You won't be getting done for holding your phone. Um, so that's got stop start. Some other bits, what's the mode? Not sure, you, you probably know better than me, to be fair. I just obviously mess about with them a little bit. Um, does this work? Alright, so right, so that one goes up and down the channels as you can see, and then this one is your volume, and they all work fine. Just in a radio station. Uh, yeah, voice command, obviously once your phone's on there you can use that. Mirrors. Yeah, they work. This one. Yeah, all good. Everything's spot on. Right, so we need to find the bonnet catch. My guess is it would probably be the passenger side, but let's have a quick look. Can't see it down there. It's worth mentioning we do specialise in commercial vehicles and pickup trucks. Not got that many at the minute, actually. Uh, but usually we've got work on an average of around 100 vehicles. Um, they're all sold very quickly. So if you like it, getting quicks with price right. Uh, oh, there's a bonnet catch. There you go. So, uh, passenger side, all the seats you can see are really clean. Floor's nice and clean as well. Again, I don't else sat in that. I think that's the uh, toolbox. Is that right? Yeah. I'm not taking that out. Uh, all the service histories here. And all the correct books and everything. So it's all good. Um, passenger side door card again it's nice and clean no chunks or lumps missing everything looks nice and tidy so we'll come to the bonnet mm. right so I mean under the bonnet uh, fluids are clean everything looks all good in that sense uh, not a great deal to see under there, to be fair. It's, and there's no signs of any historic oil leaks. Everything looks nice and clean and tidy. I mean, obviously, we don't clean under these, and if you look close enough, you'll see evidence of that. Um, it's just as they are, obviously. Yuck. But yeah, I mean, the good part for me is looking at it. When I look at these, I like to see that they've not been cleaned, just simply for the fact that, obviously, you know, we're not hiding anything. So, I mean, for me, there's no signs of any historic oil leaks around the engine bays, you can see. I can't see, I presume there's a turbo on this, but I can't see it. Uh, I can't see anything. But yeah, it's nice and tidy anyway. Fluids are clean, correct levels, so that's all good. Let's have a quick look underneath.
and um, underside of the engine bay again nice and clean and tidy no oil leak residue no signs of any historic oil leaks chassis and everything looks all nice and clean and tidy is there a spare there is a spare it's a steel i can't see the tire let's have a look uh, tires got about five or six mil a tread. Cool. Anyway, so hopefully I've shown you everything that you would need to see if you were here today with me in person. Maybe a little bit more. Um, obviously, if you're happy with what you see and you want to buy it, a small deposit will secure it, like I said, and we can deliver it if you need it to as well. Um, if you like it, have a look on Facebook. There are more pictures on there that you won't find anywhere else. Give us a like and a follow, and you'll find all the stuff that we post, because we put it on there first, and then you get to see it first. Uh, anyway, thanks for watching. Take it easy. Bye-bye.